Five o'clock, a lot of people in the Latino community are furious with Governor Jerry Brown. The governor vetoed several bills supporting, supported by local Latinos, so they held a protest. And now it is news reporter Carlos Grande explains the issues involved. A sheep uh. and a robot all to send a message to the governor. Jerry Brown let us down. Outside the state office building in downtown Los Angeles, they're protesting the governor's vetoes of several bills, including those affecting farm workers and domestic workers. They say this sheep has more rights than farm workers. Jerry Brown didn't just let these workers down. He betrayed his own commitment to these values that we thought he shared with us. They're also angry the governor vetoed the Trust Act. Right now, people booked in jail who could be deportable are held for immigration officials. The Trust Act would have restricted local law enforcement from doing that. ICE has self-imposed the goal of deporting 400,000 people a year. Governor Brown chose to be in complicit, in complicity with that colossal injustice. In his veto, the governor said the bill would bar local cooperation even when the person arrested has been convicted of certain crimes involving child abuse, drug trafficking, selling weapons, using children to sell drugs, or gangs. It would have put in direct conflict with the federal government and the laws. Luis Alvarado, the chairman of the Republican Hispanic Assembly of Los Angeles, supports the governor's veto. One thing to remember is that Governor Brown, before he was Governor Brown, he was the Attorney General of California and truly understands that this is a very important tool for law enforcement to actually uh, protect the cities and keep the uh, citizens safe. And immigrants' rights groups say it's not over yet. They say they plan to bring all these issues to the table next year, and they plan to put pressure on the governor to approve them. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.